just a beehive of activity around my house here the past few days. Uh, what ended up happening is two things. First of all, our front wall project was not supposed to start until after Thanksgiving, but I got a call from our Mason and he said that he was ready to come over if we wanted him. And I said, of course, yes, 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 yes. So he actually started out here two days ago. So I'm going to do a separate video with footage of that whole project because that is just so exciting to see what's happening out there. And then the second thing that happened is for our new property in the back on uh, Murray Street, we had intended for the demolition to be the last thing that we did this year because we were thinking that we were going to get a swimming pool put in next year. But I can't get anybody to come out and give me an estimate. And then also my husband and I were thinking that with the way things are with the economy right now and everything being like, everything's expensive. And next year we have a number of projects that we want to do for that house. We're going to get a new roof. We're going to get new gutters. Uh, we have to redo the um, central air conditioning system over there uh, and get the exterior painted. So those are all expensive things. So we're going to be putting a lot of money into that property next year. And I just can't see us spending the money, whatever that figure would be, on a swimming pool. So we decided that we're not going to wait to move the fence and enclose the yard. Um, we talked to uh, his friend Jamie from Land Shapers and asked if he had time to come over and do the fence project before winter and he said yes. So they started um, that project two days ago as well. So it's like I said, it's just been crazy with work in the front and work in the back and demo in the back because not only um, are we having Jamie move the fence. Um, but we decided that if we're going to move that fence, we better demo the concrete steps and the concrete pad to the back sliding door now while the fence is not in the way because that's heavy equipment and machinery and we don't want to pull that fence out. Once we put it in, it's in. So uh, we decided that we would have them demo the steps and that pad uh, and then we decided that the uh, paver patio that's right outside of our mudroom French doors. Uh, that actually, those pavers were laid on the macadam. That whole mudroom addition on our house used to be a garage. And so there was the macadam driveway that came up to it. And somebody um, had just laid those pavers, that little paver patio, right on the macadam. Well, it has started to heave. And uh, so, I mean, it's, it's not so great shape, those pavers and everything. So the pavers are fine, but you know, it's just not looking good. So we decided to demo that and level that out and put a good base under that and to relay um, a nice large square patio um, using the same paver materials. Um, and then also moving the fence and doing a little bit of regrading. And so it's just, <laughs> it's, it's uh, kind of just like keeps going <laughs> and more and more of the project uh, we're doing this year, but I'm so excited. Um, I think they're gonna be done with it in the next day or two, I think, but um, I'm gonna bring you along to show you all of that project. And then thirdly, what uh, this has led to as well is with the demo, both in the back and in the front, there's a lot of plants that had to come out and be moved. And so now um, I'm going to have to go upstairs and get changed and get out there and replant some plants because it's, it's really cold and we're getting below freezing at night and everything. So I need to move plants and uh, get a new planting bed put in <laughs> late in November here. So a lot of exciting stuff going on. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to uh, show you what's happening in the back and the next video will be what's happening in the front and then I'm also going to do the planting video to show you the plants that have been pulled out and relocated and a new planting bed in the back that I'm creating. So lots of exciting stuff and I'm just really excited to share it with you and I hope you enjoy it.
gosh, this is so exciting. The fence is all gone. And the concrete steps are gone, the concrete pad is gone, and they're building a set of uh, temporary uh, steps and railings so that Kane can get in and out of his house. But they've taken the fence all down between the two houses. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. This is going to be so good. So big open space. It's a little hard to see now because of all the equipment and everything like that and all the supplies. Good morning, guys. I am coming to you from the backyard and I wanted to take you around and show you the current state of things and what I'm going to be up to today. Um, cause I'm not going to lie. I've been kind of, um, overwhelmed by what to do with all these plants that have been have <laughs> that I've had to pull out of the ground, um, to make way for all of this construction that's been going on. And I have some of them in the mudroom. Some of them just got pulled out and thrown into the, you know, on top of the soil over here in the backyard. And we've had some like really cold nights. And I'm hoping that I didn't lose them. Um, but anyway, hey, it is what it is. They're either going to sink or swim. But today's the day I've got to get these into the ground because it's going to be like 50 today. We're going to have some like really nice days. So this is the time that I need to get these in the ground. So let me turn you around and show you what's going on currently in this backyard and where I'm going to plant these plants. All right, this is the view when you first come out of the French doors from the mudroom. Uh, they pulled up all of these pavers and underneath was the old macadam from the old driveway because my mudroom used to be the driveway uh, that went, um, I'm sorry, the old mudroom was the garage. And so it had a driveway that went from here out to the alley. That was before this house was built. So um, they pulled up the macadam underneath and they laid a really good base and they relayed all of these pavers in a much better pattern too. Um, and they filled it with the sand and tamped it and everything like that. So um, this is beautiful now. And uh, this gravel is, this is 1B uh, gravel, which I love because um, it just has such a nice sound when you walk on it. I don't know if you can hear that, but I love that sound. I love it. So um, they're finishing up the gate today, I believe, and they're gonna run um, just a bed of mulch. They're gonna do a nice curve from the corner of these steps to the corner of that gate, nice rounded bed and they're gonna fill that with mulch. So that'll be a planting bed for me next year. Or it might be a little pond and habitat area for Tommy, our tortoise. I don't know, I'm thinking about that. I thought about that last night. So I'm kind of excited. This might be the perfect area to create a habitat for Tommy and have like a little, maybe I'll have like a little koi pond, like little, oh my gosh, I'm getting excited thinking about it. So we shall see, but that's that area. Then over here, uh, we are going to do a four, four foot, uh, like a curve with uh, like a four foot mulch bed on this side of the cabana. And there's just like maybe, I don't know, a foot behind the cabana of mulch. And then we've got like a four foot uh, planting bed over there off of the deck. So all of this area in the middle that's currently just modified, <clears throat> that's going to be 1B gravel as well. So we're not exactly sure what we're going to be using that cabana for. I'm thinking that it might be a nice place to put my husband's grill and a smoker so that if it's raining or whatever, that he can still grill and smoke outside here. And then this middle area, you know, this whole area here that's going to be the 1B, I might do a raised bed in here or maybe a fountain. I don't know, but we got the whole winter to think about it, but this is just going to be all one B. Um, and then they're going to take and they're going to, I have to leave my, lay my pavers, but basically from the corner of this step to the corner of the bit of the, um, 
paver patio, they're just going to do a curved bed with mulch in it, and that'll be a planting bed. And then the sweep is going to continue from this corner down and around and meet up down there. So I have to just lay some pavers out to give myself an idea of where is going to be the flower bed and where is going to be grass. And uh, they're going to put some more topsoil on here and uh, they're going to put some, um, some straw on top so that we don't have a muddy mess through the winter. But this area in here, this area right back in here is where I'm going to put all my plants. So I am going to set this camera up and uh, do a time lapse for you and show you my laying of my paver edge as well as the planting of the plants. So let's go. update I have all the pavers laid and they're 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 looking a little wonky because they're just setting on top of the soil I have not like settled them down in the soil um, but that's fine for now I'm not gonna worry about settling them down in the soil because uh, you know we've got the winter coming and everything so I'll straighten those out in the spring um, and we redid this corner and uh, that down there I have to work on the grade a little bit so I might get to that now I might not get to that until the spring but I'm not worried about that that's just a matter of kind of moving some of those pavers around and uh, raising the soil up underneath um, to meet the level of the yard so that's not a big deal so all of this top soil they're going to top it with some straw so we can walk on it during the winter it won't be all muddy and then in here we're gonna get mulch shortly so I'm gonna get cracking before they get back with mulch I'm gonna get all my plants in the ground here we'll mulch them over and I will be done with this dreaded job <laughs> before winter
goodness, nothing like a deadline to light a fire under you. I got all the plants in and I put some bulbs over here. I don't know what they are, daffodils, tulips, I don't know, we'll see what they are come spring. But the guys are back from uh, picking up the mulch and they're spreading that all around the perimeter and I put some Globemaster alliums right there. So we'll see what they look like come spring. So they're gonna finish mulching up and putting down the 1B and I'll show you guys how it looks when they are finished. So exciting. So this is the end of work today. So as you can see, they laid down the mulch, which I think looks really good, makes it look nice and neat and tidy. Over here they mulched over there and all around the perimeter here and into this planting bed. They have to come back Monday. Uh, today's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. So uh, they're gonna be back on Monday to build the gate. And that'll give me time to, to um, get some pavers around there. And I don't know, maybe I'll even start doing pavers around the edge. I don't know, definitely over here. I'll definitely do pavers over there. So, um, and then they'll be back to fill in all this area where it's, it's modified. They're gonna put down the 1B stone and uh, put down some straw over here so that we don't have mud all winter. <laughs> so it's coming together so nice. I am just so excited about the progress of this yard. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so nice. So it'll give me some time this winter to really think about how we're gonna use everything and what our next steps are and what I wanna plant. Um, but oh, it's so uplifting to get this finally buttoned up again <laughs> for the winter. So I will give you an update on Monday um, and then I think that will be the end of this video and I'll be posting it so you guys can see the project from beginning to end. So uh, I will talk to you then, bye. Well, here it is, our finished product. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to have this finally buttoned up for the winter. We have a beautiful gate and they put really nice heavy duty latches on these. I'll show you here. And I think these are fantastic. So much so that I had them install, had them, install them on all three of our gates. But, um, actually all four of our gates, I think, but they are locking. So you can lock it from the inside and the outside, and then you just open them up and there's like a nice push button handle on the outside. So those are nice, heavy duty commercial grade, as well as the commercial grade hinges. I had them upgrade those um, because I just did not want to have any issues with my broken latches again, but it's so nice coming in here from the driveway and the gate is centered up on our mudroom French doors. Oh, and I just cannot wait to be planting in here next year. I've already started thinking about, um, that's our neighbor's fence right there and we'll power wash that in the spring. And then I think I'm gonna plant something like, I don't think I'm gonna do wisteria because I have wisteria on the front um, trellis uh, of the front porch, but I'm thinking maybe like trumpet vine or something pretty like, you know, I like the orange flowers of the trumpet vine. So, you know, I could plant those a couple of them down the fence line. And actually one of my friends, my new friends in my master gardeners class, she was telling me that she has a bunch of starts, um, because she has a trumpet vines and she said they're very prolific and I said oh gosh I'd be super interested in those so I might be getting free trumpet vine starts um, in the spring from her so that would be really pretty just to let that go and just like trail all over the fence and that would disguise too that we have two different fences going on here so that'll be nice and uh, oh gosh this cabana is just gonna be so nice I'm, I'm so looking forward to it but look at all this planting space that I have all the way around that I'll be able to do vegetables in this next year I don't know if I will venture into doing any sort of a raised bed situation in here 
probably not this year. I, I think I'm just going to live with it. I think I'm going to take my jump into vegetable gardening. I think this is plenty of space uh, around the edges here to do that. But um, yeah, so beautiful new freshly laid paver patio, which is going to be great. And then they followed up and they covered uh, all of the uh, bare uh, topsoil with um, straw for me. It was too cold to plant grass because uh, I think grass needs like, I don't know, 50, it can't germinate below like 52 degrees or something like that. But at any rate, we're way too cold for that. So it's just straw here so that we don't have a muddy mess through the winter. Um, but yeah, it turned out so great and uh, yay, new latches on both doors because they both broke oh god and so it was just a fiasco but yay i have new latches i now have to i had to pick up those pavers that i was using as uh my door stops to stop them from blowing open during windy uh days but uh yeah i am just oh my goodness <laughs> hi gypsy hi galley girls and i are getting ready to run down to the groomers um to get their nails done but yeah, this just looks so neat and clean. And oh my goodness, I love the sound of this 1B gravel under my feet. Ugh. And I was out here uh, earlier today because the um, willow leaves have been blowing in here and also some of the uh, hay, or not the hay, but the straw has been blowing in here. So I went and I, uh, this morning when the girls were out here and I was waiting for them I just grabbed a uh, leaf rake and was raking the gravel and oh it does a great job of getting all the leaves and and um, straw off of the off the rocks and uh, it just it sounds so nice when you're raking it too it's a very kind of a zen like experience <laughs> But that is it for this project. It is now buttoned up. I will be able to edit this video and finally get this out to you folks so you can see the finished product of this project for this year. So hallelujah, we're done. <laughs> Thanks guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.